good morning everyone happy tuesday and welcome to another weekly vlog from me if you're new around here my name is Gemma. so lovely to have you tuning in to today's video can we not talk about this is actually atrocious like i am about 10 shades darker than my face i tried out a new tan so i'm not actually going to let you know what it is because clearly it's good on my body but it didn't take well on my hands i have a few more things going on this week i actually didn't vlog yesterday because the day ran away oh <laughs> the day ran away with me and i just didn't end up picking up my camera I'm heading into central now i am a little bit late nothing changes i've actually been struggling with what to wear today because it's raining really hard out there so yeah this is my outfit this coat is really old i think it might be in the style and then i've got this can you see me i feel like i'm too tall for this so yeah this is today's outfit we have this coat which i think is old in the style uh from lorna Lux's collection it's really really nice i love the texture uh these faux leather trousers from h and have got my prada loafers on and then guys i need to get you onto this because it is a knitted roll neck or polar neck from H&M. I think it is £12.99 and genuinely I'm blown away by the quality. I'm going to get it in cream I think. Um, so yeah, that's today's outfit. I'm running late so I'll take you along with me. I really hope you enjoy this weekly vlog and um, yeah, come spend the week with me. So I popped into the and other stories on Argyle Street. This is a little look of what's currently in store obviously i made a beeline for the sparkles what can i say it's the inner magpie in me this skirt is giving all the festive feels i loved it and all of this pink this valentino pink is everywhere at the minute and i'm not mad about it i do love it uh, i actually tried this dress on which you'll see in a sec and i loved this dress it's giving me killing eve vibes i'm genuinely obsessed with it i love it and then this is me with all my bits so the first thing i tried on was this asymmetric cardigan loved it so much i love the button details i just think it's really unusual it wasn't itchy either but it came up really big this is an extra small so then i tried on this jumper which is just adorable i love the little hearts it was actually really soft as well and i thought it looked really cute with the skirt but it was quite pricey from memory so then i tried on this skirt i mean look at my face it, it was love at first sight and it's so sparkly it's so festive i actually really loved it paired with this red jumper like so christmasy guys how amazing is this dress So here's a close-up of the pink dress it's so sparkly i love it excuse the socks what do you think of it would you wear it yourself so i definitely saved the best until last this dress looked so stunning on i love how red it is i love how festive it is and just generally how extra it is the only annoying thing is i don't actually have an event to wear this to otherwise it would have definitely come home with me because it's just so stunning that i love coffee but you have to try blank streets gingerbread latte well i have mine with oat milk it's so good let me know if you try it literally i'd rate it a solid 9.5 out of 10. Mm, so good it's so christmasy it's just like christmas in a cup yeah i went to the blank street on charlotte street for anyone interested but they've got a few like dotted around guys look what i just found in primark just like the zara one do you remember it oh my 
god. And this one is even better because it's got adjustable straps at the back. So yeah, this one is Primark in Tottenham Court Road. I was gonna say walk, don't run. I meant run, don't walk. <laughs> The shoe section in Primark is actually giving. I loved these boots so much. They were like glittery. I love the heel as well. And they look really nice with these faux leather trousers. And they were under £20, guys. <laughs> So this is the River Island showroom, uh, which I was invited along to. There's a couple of rails of pieces that are coming in the next few weeks and also online. I mean, look at these feathers. I love all the color as well. And this black dress, the bow detailing, the little detailing on the straps is amazing. I love all the texture here. And I didn't actually know that River Island do underwear. Like, look how nice this bra is. Like, so pretty. And then I did actually help myself to some food. It was amazing and, like, festive. Uh, and the lovely lady here made me a wreath to take home with me, which is just so nice. Guys, look. The Christmas lights came on. Oh, so pretty. I literally love London this time of year. Oh, wow. Look how shiny I am. The reason being, <sighs> how long did it take me? Probably about two hours to get home from Oxford Circus. The Victoria line was completely suspended. Apparently there was a, an incident at uh, Vauxhall where police actually had to get involved. So whatever happened, I hope that the person is, oh, I'm just trying to take my socks off, as you do. Uh, I hope the person's okay, because it sounded really serious, but from Oxford Circus to Brixton, it's literally like 10 minutes, if that, on the tube. So I was standing there for a little while on the tube, melting, because I'm wearing faux leather trousers. Honestly, I was sweating. I just had Ross from Friends in my head. Uh, and then I decided to get the central line to Tottenham Court Road, Tottenham Court Road to Tooting Beck, and then bus to Shretham. Long, like, long, long, long. I was going to go to the gym, but it's probably like 7 o'clock now. So, I mean, I'm going to take this off because someone needs to call the Shine Police. Uh, but yeah, I'm knackered. Uh, I got a reef from the River Island like showroom press day thing, so I'm gonna put that on the door. I'll show you that. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna make some dinner and maybe make myself a cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> so we have just got to the gym. Like this, we didn't plan this. I promise. It's different brands. What's the gym shop on there? Yeah. Um, but same colour, so we're gonna walk out onto the gym like floor now and look like twats. <laughs> but we're training. Let's. <laughs> So this is inside the King's Gym in Purley. I'm just strapping up before my set. There's Tiff and I think we had a little bit of a cue for the machine, hence the audience in the background. But I think this is called the Belted Squat Machine. Don't quote me on that though, but it's just mega for firing up your glutes. And I'm doing, I think I did 12 reps here, which is standard usually, of 100 kg. So guys, it's happened again, the tradition. We have ended our gym session with a rooster. The guy in Reese's actually knows our order off by heart, doesn't he? Yeah. I've gone for double chicken, pita with smashed avo. Tiff got the same. Yeah. And I got sweet potato fries. And I didn't. <laughs> so I'm actually gonna go in, take off, because we do train in our makeup, unfortunately. Um, <laughs> <laughs> some people done. don't like going to the gym with makeup on and sweating and stuff. So and I don't understand. That's like a foreign language to me, I'm afraid. <laughs> So I'm gonna go in, take my makeup off. Actually, I need some new Netflix recommendations. So if you've got any, let me know down below um, and enjoy my dinner. 
Hey guys, so it is the next day. It's Thursday today. I haven't really been up to much. Well, no, I have been up to much. I've been editing at home because um, I'm doing a whole week. So I've been editing some videos. I just filmed another video. So I feel like it's all go. I actually need to pop out now because I've got some errands to run. And by errands, I'm just packing up some parcels uh, for some things that I've sold on Vinted. Oh, I feel like I need to have a little bit of a rant and I feel like I can have a rant with you guys, but I don't know what it is about Vinted. It really, really bugs me. So for example, I had listed an Opoly dress on there and it was brand new with tags, never been worn, original box. It's currently online for £68. I had listed it for 45 which I thought was really, really reasonable. It's a beautiful dress. And even with Black Friday discounts and shipping, it's still cheaper to buy it from me. And someone messaged me and they were like 20 pounds. I'm then thinking, how did you get to the figure of 20 pounds? Like it just baffles me, it doesn't compute. That is, that's the bone I had to pick with with vintage annoyingly i don't have a printer and when people select every i have to go and print out the label i actually was contemplating ordering a label printer from amazon because it's a logistical nightmare uh, i have to go over there to then come back here to post it with every uh, so if you do use vintage use impost or yodel because it's um paperless actually so much better for the environment so vintage take note if there's anything you can do with every um, to make it paperless that or digital that would be fantastic um this is my outfit today this jumper is from h&m it's like kind of a feral christmasy kind of jumper it's plain from the back i kind of wish it went all the way around um and then i've just got my and other storage jeans on and my little uggies i mean oh look how cute they are so yeah i'm gonna layer this body warmer over the top but i just need to pack up my parcels <laughs> I don't know if you can hear me to the watch house it's in Somerset house you can't see the tree but it's like there and I am with Moe your hair looks, your hair looks really good oh, thank you. it looks very autumnal oh. did you have more brown put in it no I just I, I put out my hair exceptions oh god <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks great anyway. Um, and we have got some coffee. We have actually uh, drunk it, but um, yeah, cute little spot for Friday. It's so busy in here. <laughs> Actually really nice there. Really nice. Look how festive it looks at Somerset House. I didn't actually realise that the ice rink was up, but it's such a beautiful day for ice skating. It's actually really, really cold, but I can't wait to come ice skating here. It's so cute. So we're actually doing a tour of, uh, well, Covent Garden, and look how festive it looks, guys. You probably are thinking, why are you in another outfit? But I'm on my, <laughs> I'm on my, what is this, third outfit? Number three. Uh, but yeah, we're just in Covent Garden looking for a place to shoot. It's actually quite busy because it's a Friday. Um, so yeah, we need to kind of find somewhere quite neutral, don't we? Yeah. I need some water. I'm gasping. And I'm actually starving. I'm so hungry. I haven't had breakfast yet. And you're going to get humble crumble, aren't you? Yeah. I'm so, so jealous. Why? Well, like look how much taller. I, I am so small. <laughs> Let's say that again. Um, I just feel like I'm going to have a sugar spike. Yeah, you like, probably I will. Today, so I'm going to be like, oh. Oh my God. I mean, I think I'd take the sugar spike to have a bit of. <gasps> Look at this. Oh, wow. So I've come to Leon for some lunch and I've gone for a char grilled chicken burger and then these are gfc they're like a gluten-free nugget 
I'm so excited to try these and also a raspberry lemonade. This burger was amazing, I give it a solid 9 out of 10. I have arrived back home now and I feel like I need a nap. I'm so full. I think my eyes are definitely bigger than my belly in Leon. However, both the burger and the GFC, the gluten-free chicken nuggets, were sensational. If I had to pick a favourite, I think I'd have to say the nuggets. They were so good. But yeah, I should have stopped eating and gluttony took over. The comfy clothes are on. This is just an old set from Mango. I'll see if I can link something similar. I think H&M actually might have something similar. So I'll link it down below for you. I can barely talk. I am that full. Uh, so I've got some editing to crack on with. Um, all my videos for a whole week. So I'm just going to do that. It doesn't feel like a Friday today. It's so strange. Uh, and it's definitely chilly. The temperature really has dropped. It has been so mild for this time of year. Uh, but it's finally it's finally dropped it's feeling very wintry now and london's looking so festive um like covent garden was amazing somerset house i'm actually going ice skating at the end of the month so i'm super excited for that because there's nothing more festive than ice skating at somerset house in my opinion uh, so i might make myself another coffee that will be my third coffee of the day but you guys I know it's a non-judgment zone around here so yeah and then i think i'm gonna go to the gym a little bit later once <laughs> once my food has gone down because i think i'd actually throw up if i went right now um and have a chilled evening i'm actually really enjoying not drinking this will be the second weekend in a row um that a drop of alcohol has not touched my lips so Let's see if we can continue. And I've got a spin class tomorrow at 10.30 with my housemate, Michelle. Don't know what I was thinking because I haven't done spin in about two and a half years and I'm actually a little bit scared that I might die. <laughs> So it is Saturday today and we are on our way to Boom Cycle. I know you're probably like Gemma, what the hell are you doing? You don't do cardio. You are correct. Oh my God. Michelle says she doesn't want to be in it, just shut she's like this. Don't worry, you're not. In. She's like um, <clears throat> So yeah, we're just coming up to Battersea Park. It's so cute and autumnal. There's like loads of autumn leaves. I've got a coffee here. Um, it's, what's the time? 10 o'clock. And our, um, I was gonna say our appointment. It's not an appointment. Our class is at 10.30. And I think we're gonna go for brunch after, which should be nice. But pray for me guys, literally, because I feel like I might die. I just don't do cardio and I haven't done a spin class in about two years so yeah see you on the other side <laughs> i need one of these <laughs> supportive breath <laughs> so we've come for a little stroll around bassy power station guys look how festive it looks and there's the ice rink there i didn't actually think it would be open and I don't know if you can see, but I'll zoom you in. That is a Joe Malone Christmas tree. Look at the boxes, they're so cute. There's these little domes here for private hire. Like I actually want to book them. Look how cute and festive. Um, these are the details here for anyone who's interested, but it's actually so cute and festive here at Bassey Power Station. I can't deal. Hey guys. <laughs> They're hiding, Dora the Explorer. <laughs> so we went to the breakfast club on Bassey Rise. I went for the French toast with buttermilk chicken. Just look at the maple syrup pour. We got some hash browns, some coffee. Oh, this was so good. It is safe to say I am so full after that brunch but it was delicious if you are looking for something to eat at the breakfast club then the french toast with the buttermilk chicken 
will not disappoint and we filled out a little online uh well like survey thing and we got a free tea look as you can see oh my camera won't focus um and then look what it says here today is going to be a good day what a cute little affirmation uh so yeah we're just heading back home now um and i need to wash my hair because it's like really central up here um and i think michelle you're gonna go for drinks aren't you <laughs> i'm committing to no alcohol uh this is my second weekend so i'm sticking to that i'm being really good because actually december is going to be crazy for me um and i've actually got some work to do so yeah but i'm full i don't think i'll probably eat now for hours i think it's safe to say we have a, a problem <laughs> the addiction to coffee is real good afternoon everyone so it is sunday today uh i have just been having like a reset kind of morning doing washing uh just little admin -y bits um and i made myself some breakfast i had a cinnamon and raisin bagel with scrambled eggs and avocado elite combination uh and now i need to pop out i need to go to the supermarket get some dinner for tonight uh maybe some chocolate because i have really bad period pains and i need to print some labels and post two vintage parcels um i'll show you what i'm wearing because this is quite possibly the coziest thing i own and i'm so excited to be wearing it i've got it from h&m so i'll link it down below for you it's got pockets on the side which actually have this like fleece lining so cozy this is a closer look it's got a zip here um i have just popped a roll neck underneath it for layering it's got a really cozy hood um i just got it on with adenola leggings these are the ultimate leggings in khaki and i've run out of socks so these ones are actually quite big but i mean they're so cozy and then i've got my ultra mini uggs on um so nice and warm but i wanted to show you that because i literally feel like a snuggly snuggly bear right now um and yeah makeup free sundays because i'm gonna come back and do some editing uh but i'm probably gonna go ahead and end the vlog here i'm gonna go get a coffee as well thank you so much for watching guys i really really hope that you have been enjoying my weekly vlogs and i'll see you in the next one thank you so much for watching guys